had that feeling that you just don't belong, this video is for you. I think a lot of people go through life feeling completely awkward and out of place for no reason. Just because they believe a lot of stuff about themselves that isn't even true. Lie one, you are not cool. But here's a question, by whose standard are you not cool? And why are you trying to fit some standard of cool? Dude, I was watching TV last night and there's this show that airs on Sunday nights called- Dude, I love that show so much, it's my life, I love it. Oh man. I didn't even say what show I was talking about. I don't need you to tell me. All I do is watch it. That one, the best one. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. Well, then what did you think about last night's episode? Have you ever seen the Cosby show? <laughs> That's a good show. All right? Don't try so hard. And don't change who you are to try and fit somebody else's definition of what it means to be cool. You are the only one that doesn't fit in. A lot of times you get to a party filled with lots of people you don't know and you feel like this. Okay, I just got to this party and I'm feeling really nervous. Everyone else looks like they're having a lot of fun, but I don't see anybody I know and I'm trying to avoid eye contact with people I don't know and let me just pull out my phone and I'll, I'll, I'll send a couple of texts to make sure they're still coming. I'm, the only one who feels this weird at these things. Nobody feels like they fit in 100% of the time, but some people are just better at hiding it. You are a disappointment. You are never going to make everybody happy. In fact, you'll make yourself miserable in the process. You don't look good. You can be overweight and still look good. You can have acne and still look good. You can look however you look and still look good. Man, I'm never gonna be as pretty as all the girls in the movies. I wish that I could afford a makeup artist and a personal trainer, but I guess I can't. I guess that means I'm never gonna be pretty. Hey, guess what? Just because you don't look like that one actress in Hollywood doesn't mean that you don't look pretty. I say that one actress because they all look the same. See, there is nothing more subjective than attractiveness. So you may not look good to somebody, but who cares? That person obviously has bad taste because you look great. You are not doing enough. Everything is so go, go, go and do this and do that. But you know, it's really okay to just sit back and enjoy life every once in a while. Take a break, smell the flowers, go for a walk, shut out all the busyness and just enjoy yourself. Everything is your fault. The only things that you are responsible for are your actions. Stuff other people do, regardless of what anybody else tells you, is not your fault. Ever. It's on them. Well, I'm really glad we got to talk. Yeah, it's nice having you too. I'll see you later. See ya. You did this. You spilled my water. Now I'm furious. How do you like them apples? You are not going to amount to anything. Well, with that kind of attitude, you won't. And who cares what other people say about you? Prove them wrong. You know, it's really easy to give somebody advice who's struggling and tell them that they're a great person and that everything is going to be okay. But it's a lot harder to accept those same ideas about ourselves. Sometimes you just need to look in the mirror, be really honest and ask, do I like myself? Because you totally should. You're awesome. And it's gonna be hard to accomplish much of anything when you don't even like what you're working with. So this week, don't forget, you're super cool, you look great, and you're doing just fine. Just enjoy life, because it's good. Peace and out.